Hamburg, where the rather fine looking railway station's been cleaned up rather nicely. It's still in use with Amtrak with a few trains a day. But of more interest of course is the trams. On the right here is the only open air city track. All the city streets were, were relieved of their trams a few years back and they were put in a tunnel. I'm at that point mark 10 station up on the right there. The red line is simply a shuttle to and from Steel Plaza. The main lines commence from Gateway Centre. Gateway Centre. Through Steel Plaza. The 47s take the right hand branch which is blue. 42 is the left, then they split again down the bottom. Actually had a short drive of one of these last night for a couple of stops and has the same general feel as our B class. The main difference being I feel the pedals are somewhat firmer. Instead of the left hand safety pedal, however, they do have a push button which you can use instead of uh, the pedal if you wish. Two and one seating with rather comfortable upholstery. The driver's panel doesn't have a cover for it. In fact, the cab door should have been kept shut, but it wasn't. A little bit more complicated than ours. Probably more in this line of a uh, German car. I gather these were built in Germany, but assembled here. And the three pedals. They probably look a bit more like footrests, but they do in fact rotate. The safety pedal's got fairly distinct clicks to it and as I said it's somewhat firmer, all the pedals are somewhat firmer than ours. The shuttle's only a couple of hundred yards long. <coughs> Need more mooring than doing the hub cars. Steel Plaza is actually a four track station. And it's a regular suburban car on the 42. S, South Hills Village, which is a short working to uh, Drake, I think it is. I think he forgot he was driving the PCC and pulled up at the high platform. So as you can see, pieces are still operating. With their pantographs. It's a shuttle still waiting to depart. It's been there about five minutes now. Looks like he's off, although I can I think I can hear something coming in behind me again. Behind the PCC. Sorry if I make you dizzy, but
think they're a little bit longer than our Artix. Just seem to have a lot more seats inside. Most of the doors are for high level, but the very front door, extra front door, uh, is for ground level loading. Just digressing for a couple of minutes, Pittsburgh has got a few uh, rather steep inclines. This one's just near the tunnel mouth. Get a sore neck looking up at this angle all the time. Probably hear trams in the background. Rather spectacular view of the city from the top here. Now to more specifics. Formerly, the trams went across the river on the Smithfield Bridge, that one there. They had the right-hand two lanes and probably won't be able to see it on the screen, but the rails appear to be still on the bridge, much to my surprise. I thought they would have been grabbed for uh, extra traffic lanes, but they haven't. Not yet, anyway. I think you can see them still there. They now... Incidentally, that, uh, that bridge lines up exactly with the tunnel mouth. They now come out of the tunnel over there and cross the river on that bridge. I'll wait till one comes. They even run some Melbourne-sized goods trains here. The tram has just left the city. <coughs> I think I said this had been an out-of-use railway bridge. Possibly some of the tunnels were former railway tunnels as well. I don't think they could have gone anywhere else. That's the junction for the Mount Lebanon, Lebanon line there. It's out of use at the moment. Apparently the council's doing road work somewhere along the way. The car will disappear into the bushes. There's a station just shortly after where it is now. Then it'll do a left-hand turn into the tunnel. The incline was last renovated in 1982-3 and the angle's about 35 degrees. The cars appear to be steel construction, but uh, probably to the old plans. It rises, I think, about 350 feet from what I read. Off the tram tunnel mouth. January 
1976 when I was first here, there's numerous big icicles hanging from the tunnel mouth. It was rather cold then. Final view of the old bridge. This is the Drake Loop, Drake Loop Terminus. Uh, just arrived, it's got about 15 minutes layup. It's only a half hour service, so uh, I won't be able to spend too much time out here, unfortunately. I'll try and get a few representative shots. Mixture of single track, double track, and except for where you saw that other car passing a moment ago, uh, it's all on reservation. That bit of track, I think, may in fact just be a busway, not a street, bus tramway. Notice the uh, the old type E is still in use on this portion of the line. PCCs have been renovated inside, as you can see. Long row of longitudinal seats on one side. Some of them have been further modernised with the installation of fluorescent lights, plus probably other things less apparent. And this is where the line to South Hills Village branches off. I've got to find out a little bit more for it. More about it because uh, it's not showing on my old map. I just came from the left branch. I think there might be a depot up there. bound car just come off the joint track which it shares with the Overbrook line. This is now on the Beachview branch heading back towards the city. Don't think I've mentioned that a number of these stations have ticket offices in op open for fare collection in the peak hours. Another scene in the Castle Shannon area. That car's come from the Castle Shannon stop on the Beachview branch. And behind me is Castle Shannon, 
for the Overbrook branch. Not only does it have the less comfortable PCCs but track work and loops and so on make it the Cinderella branch this Overbrook. South Hills Junction, where the cars emerge on the from the tunnel on the far side from the city. This is also where the two branches split. No, cousin, there's nothing in there. Oh, what are you taping? Not you. Oh. I'm going to turn like them burgers can't sit. Bridge used to be trams only. It's since been paved for the buses. View on the bridge. This couple of miles of street track is the only street running on the whole system now. This tunnel was recently constructed to take the line under a rather congested bit of street trackage.
goes behind back fences up through here. This bit of line's been upgraded somewhat remarkably. It used to be single track and it used to be peak hours only. Uh, however, as you can see it's been fully upgraded and rather than being the peak hour extra, it's now actually the main line. This is still uh, on the beach view section. morning still centre. Cars are coming in uh, as close as they can behind each other and they're carrying good loads. One in front was a little bit more crowded than that one and apparently there are one or two more couple sets still due to come into the city so we'll wait and see uh, if any of them turn up. But as I said very good loadings. This is uh, the first stop in the city. The squeak of another one pulling up behind me. Signals seem to keep them uh, fairly well spaced, particularly here where there's the junction for Penn Station. Incidentally, the tunnel between the bridge across the river and Penn Station is an old tunnel, it has been there for many years, uh, 100 years or so. The main line, however, through to Gateway Centre is uh, brand new tunnels and goes under the city centre more so than the old railway tunnel. I guess you can get some idea of the, the headway. Scattered amongst them of course is still the odd PCC. Hill Vill Village Express 5 beats you. Um, one thing I have noticed is they don't seem to reset the destinations for the city. They just show the outer terminus for uh, both directions, which can make it confusing for the tourist who doesn't know which way he's going. Don't laugh, it can so easily happen. Seventeen forty five is one of the unrebuilt ones. He's uh, pretty well jammed full too. Might have shown you the other day a second pantograph on the front of some of the cars, like this one. They're used for ice removal purposes. Fair collection is as you bought the car city bound. As you leave the car, leaving the city. Which you've got to stop and think about half the time. Although 
he's got a good loading. There's nowhere near the number of PCCs running as there are new cars. And I think their entire active fleet of reconditioned and souped up PCCs available for traffic is 16 total. And once again there's another set waiting to come in. It's been like that the whole time I've been here. Well basically at 9 o'clock the peak hour suddenly ended. So I never did see a couple set but apparently there were a few around. Uh, that interesting wedge shape building by the way is the Wood Street station.